everyone. I'm Heidi and we are in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by TSET and I am here with Chef Val from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thank you for joining me in here today and I can hardly wait to find out what this is. So have at it. What are okay. we making? So our culinary medicine program coordinator who also helps prep all of this food for the segment mm -hmm. um, saw this cool um, Instagram of this, um, it's a hummus, but it's made with yeah. navy beans and the roasted cauliflower. It smells amazing it, for anyone. It's that. super <laughs> delicious. So we did a little taste test or a little recipe testing on that and it's super delicious. And so the first thing you're gonna wanna do okay. is prep your cauliflower and get it in the oven. Okay. And so you're just gonna take these um, bottom leaves off. You can mm -hmm. take just all the green leaves off and um, then you would go ahead and take all the green leaves right. off. Right. Okay, and so then we would just do a little bit of olive oil on top and a nice pinch of black pepper. And this is a great resource just to get more veggies in yes. your life. Eating lots and lots more veggies. I mean, you could clearly serve this dish with some fish or shrimp or chicken okay. if you wanted to um, add that animal protein to mm -hmm. it. But it tastes Here I'm trying to help. delicious. No, it's totally <laughs> fine. And so what we did is we actually took the cauliflower and wrapped it in foil and roasted it for about an hour. It's not really roasting, it's really steaming if it's wrapped in foil. Okay. And then we opened up that foil um, and let it roast a little bit, just so the whole thing is nice and roasted when we and get it gets to a our more of the brown. Exactly. Okay. And so for our base here, we are going to make some hummus, but really it's just a it's an it's navy beans. It's not garbanzo beans. Garbanzo bean means hummus. Okay. So we're going to use these navy beans. We're going to get a really nice smooth puree, some garlic in there. Is there any particular reason for the navy beans over garbanzo beans, or just strictly just for the recipe? It just makes it nice and creamy. Okay. I mean, the, you know, the chickpeas, you can get those creamy too. A lot of times you take the skins off. The navy beans are softer on their own. And this kind of white bean is a little bit higher in calcium than some of their beans too. So you're getting a little more nutrition as well. Right. And so into this, we're going to add a juice of one lemon and zest of one lemon. Okay. We are going to add one and a half teaspoons of paprika. All right. Smoked paprika or sweet paprika will do. Some cumin. Um, we have a half a cup of roasted red peppers. These just came straight from the jar. They're a lot um, more affordable that way, sometimes, depending on the time of the year. Right. Can you do them fresh if you wanted? Totally. Okay. Totally. And you can add more if you want to. And this is some tahini, which is just the ground sesame seed paste. Little pinch of salt, little pinch of black pepper. And then we're going to put this on and let it spin until it's really nice and smooth. Okay. And then we're just going to drizzle in your olive oil like this. And if we had a little more time, I would probably go ahead and let those beans really get very, go very a little longer. Parade, yes. Now, is there a reason for the olive oil going in slower like that, or that's just how you're putting it, it in for I mean, today? It can help form an emulsion, but probably in this instance, it doesn't really matter. But okay. I think I'm just used to doing that from a vinaigrette. Right. Nope. Totally understand. Yeah. And so this is our finished product. We just have a really nice bean dip or hummus, if you will. And then the roasted cauliflower, and you could use some parsley or cilantro on top. It's so pretty. I don't want to like, but I'm going to because I have to taste it. <laughs> so let me grab this tiny little bite here just so I can get a taste. Oh, my goodness. That is so good. If you want to learn more about this recipe, go ahead and head on over to KJRH.com.